He was kind of yeah, a huskier that was guy. Phil. Jacked guy. He was jacked. Jacked, though? <laughs> You're going to kill me. Ladies and gentlemen, making his return to Cabbie Presents, this young man inspired by Muhammad Ali, a.k.a. Cassius Clay, Nazim Kadri. Welcome back, sir. Hello, man. I'm wonderful. How are you? Good, thanks. Four years ago with Morgan, and I'm going to put Joffrey in the mix. Were you guys more like the Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? Because it was kind of like a boy band. You, Nas, Morgan, Joffrey. Might even sprinkle a little Phil in there too. I think I'm gonna go with the Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys, Yeah, okay. just because I like them a little better and I feel like they were a little more popular. I don't know, NSYNC probably? NSYNC. Joff was, uh, was just Timberlake for sure. Yeah, he's just. Are you or Joffrey, who was the bad boy? I don't really want to say I was the bad boy because that just <laughs> makes me look bad. With any boy band, there's a transition from boys to men. What's the experience for you been like in 2017? Production-wise, it's trending upwards. You guys are on the precipice of the 2017 playoffs, and you're just growing and maturing as a person. It's been a good year for both of us. I think Nas is uh, just defensively, he's come a long way. You now I think Babs has a lot of trust in him and shows. I feel like this is uh, the best year so far. I just, you know, guys in the dressing room, I feel like, uh, you know, we've gelled together and we've had some chemistry. Now it's like oh, fun to be a Toronto Maple Leaf, especially getting wins. Here's the try toward the save Vasilevsky, they score. Kadri pops it in. And the Leafs win this game. It's like a new Nas. It's like 2.0. I'm writing a new chapter in my book, so uh, that's just the way it goes. But is this now the boring chapter? I feel like the first part of the book was uh, for for recovering dirt bags like me. The first part of the book. Yeah, I mean the might first be more exciting. The first part of the book is definitely what's gonna make it a bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the second part is still pretty interesting, just a little less crazy. And Morgan and I are very disappointed in one specific life choice that you made. We can still hang out. Yeah, when she says, <laughs> when you get permission. Yeah, right. <laughs> As Backstreet Boys have transitioned, now we have One Direction moving in. Yeah, you have a bunch of young bucks <laughs> yeah. in there. Obviously, there's Mitchie and Austin and, and William. Has there been one guy that you've either taken under your wing or just given a few nuggets to be like, okay, this is how it's gonna go. Because there's, there's nine of them, it's tough. There's, they kind of run the team now. No, but they're all under my wing right here. <laughs> You're like the mama bird? You have, yeah. like, you have your nest. Here you go, like... Mitchie, come on. Yeah. I've had uh, thorough conversations with all of them, but I think Mitch is more my project just because playing in a London Knights alumni, we got that strength okay. with, uh, with London, Ontario. Have you given them things like, like not to do? Uh, yeah, things to do and not to do, yeah, for sure. Things which, not to which, do. Which list is longer? I was just gonna say the not to do list is definitely longer, especially <laughs> in the city of Toronto. Fun playing with these young guys, a lot of, a lot of talent and... Young guys, that's, is, that, is that crazy for you to say? Because you're 26 is. years old? Well, they're 19 and 18, so... Then they'll start like doing these crazy dabs and I'm like, my, <laughs> my 12 year old sister does that. And I'm like, you know how there's like the, the like semi cool, like one dab. Dab on the right quick. Oh, dab. Look at my dab. Dab. Yeah. It's like, you act like an idiot, like all like... Yeah, there's like a million dabs. dabs yeah. yeah, as the little kids are doing. Dab, 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 dab. Who's been dabbing? Matt's loves the, Matt's and Mitch loves love the dad that. Uh, those are those are definitely the two. Matt's is Austin. Austin. Yes. Do you feel like you need to reinvent yourself? Maybe not on the ice. Yeah. Matt's off. off. Like maybe they reinvent the look or something. Those Smart. guys can take all the, the the camera time and everything, and we can just go on with our business. It's nice. I don't mind flying under the radar too much these days. You can just lurk in the background. Lurk in the background. That's right. <laughs> it's nice. The, the creeper like I am on Instagram. Yeah, you're a creep. It's the eye emoji all day, <laughs> my dude. You and just, JVR. Yeah, just, he probably sees everything you do. He doesn't <laughs> miss a thing. As I'm looking at this right here, I was wondering if maybe I can, maybe we can just do you, something. Do I need some help? Yeah, go ahead. We're actually doing this. Yeah, Jake. Oh my. Is that too much? Yeah. This looks very medical, by the way. Maybe we should have went with the gel instead of the wax. <laughs> I think this is going to be a good look for me. <laughs> okay, what do you got going here? Yo, this looks kind of, it's kind of dope, actually. The high spike. Yeah. This was very, like, 2005. And how's it looking? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is a, this Just is, rubbing in. <laughs> oh, Jake, that's, this is the best part uh, of my day. <laughs> yeah. Get oh, back. my. Is this too much? <laughs> yeah, I might wear this out of the rank, actually. <laughs> we love seeing the 2.0 on mm -hmm. the ice. But I think the public's gonna really enjoy the 2.0 off the ice. Can't wait. You will see this man in the 2017 playoffs. 2.0 is here to stay.